Proudly repping the 209 in Stockton, California. Here is the longtime UFC welterweight and lightweight staple, Nate Diaz. It's hard to imagine any fight that Nate Diaz is involved in not being pleasing to the masses. Of course, no bigger moment for him than shocking the world with a win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. Nate Diaz, like his brother Nick, has devastating cardio, utilizes a long reach, outstanding, accurate boxing, and a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game to go with it. So here he is, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, the former two-division UFC champion, Conor McGregor, back in a mixed martial arts setting for the first time in a long time. Of course, many of you ingested his boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. Thankfully, all of that is in the past, and Conor McGregor's present is a return to the greatest proven ground in MMA here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Diaz is three years his senior. He... You ready to fight? You ready? Dateline, London, England. Good to have you with us as always as we get underway with live action from the O2. And how about the buzz in this arena and just the sheer volume from these fans as Conor McGregor makes his return here tonight. Now, how will he approach the early portions of this fight? That is the big question. We know he's had some quick finishes in his UFC career, but a lot of people think he'll want to feel this thing out and get his feet under him early. Oh! Nice combination there by Diaz. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? Conor McGregor is one of the best kickers in the division. Keep an eye out for his leg strikes. Oh! Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Such good movement in there. Here's a nice kick. Oh! Oh! He hurt him! Oh! Big kick to the head. He's hurt. He's stunned. He's in trouble right now. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Hard straight punch. Oh, he's going for it here. Another leg kick there. There is nothing fun about being on the receiving end of that, I can assure you. And now let's see if this slows his opponent's movement down a little bit. Absolutely. Nice punch there by McGregor. Oh! All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage. Oh, he caught him on the left hand. Right here. Nice leg kick. left to the body. Body kick, look at that. 90 seconds and counting here in Big shot to the head. He's still on his feet. He is clearly in big, big trouble. Oh! What a leg kick. Nice leg kicks. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. Oh. Big left hand. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Kick! He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh! So we crossed the 30-second mark in our opening round. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Visibly limping here. Final seconds here of round one. McGregor gets absolutely pelted by that hit. Round two next.
Well, certainly looking at a 10-8 after that round, maybe even a 10-7, courtesy of the multiple knockdowns. Massive round there from Diaz. A huge round. His opponent was in deep, deep water. But what an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. Kenny Andrade to get us going. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. And there is one thing we also should consider, and that is the wrestling of Nate Diaz, which is very underrated. His wow! Oh, he got flipped there. He got hurt. Wow! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Wow! Unbelievable. Oh, that's it. It's over. He's out. That is it. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown, vicious strike. Great angle here. Boom! And that's all she wrote. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner. Uh, all right, so another win for the 209. Congratulations to Nate Diaz and Team Caesar Gracie. And this is the type of performance that really endeared Nate Diaz to the MMA masses and what has made him one of the biggest superstars in mixed martial arts history. He put all the skills together tonight. The fight IQ was on display. Big, big moment in a career full of them for Nate Diaz here tonight.